shots. Full of anaka, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Immersion YouTube channel. Another cracking day here in beautiful Savi Savi Fiji, and I'm out on the water with our newest team member, Fred. And we have had a bloody amazing morning. Everything went to plan. Woo! That's an understatement, hey? Everything went to plan so well that I just can't wait to share it all with you guys. And you guys are gonna get to know Fred a little bit better after I share what went down this morning. Uh, we might just get up to the bar. We have well and truly earned ourselves a beer or a cocktail or anything. So uh, we'll chat with Fred later on. You can find out all about Fred, his background, and how excited he is to now be a part of Immersion Fiji. But we got going early this morning. It's yellowfin tuna season right now, and we have had some rotten luck the last three weeks or so, and we haven't managed to get a big one in the boat because of sharks, breaking gear, all sorts of stuff. But today, we did it, and I'm gonna share it with you right now. Peeling line, it's a big one. Took plenty of line, hey? Shit, slow and steady, bro. Making ground? Nah. This thing is not moving. It's a pretty big one. Okay, it's coming. It's good because this hookup has happened before all the action's gone crazy. So hopefully the sharks, well, hopefully this was just a stray and the sharks haven't had the time to, you know, the school up. But sad thing is, it's still probably 300, 400 meters away, yeah? Yeah. Taking a little lane. So this is obviously a pretty big fish. We've got a couple of gaffs here. Um, but the other day, I was out with a couple of mates. And uh, we, we had probably, uh, it was only probably 25, 30 kg uh, yellowfin at the boat. Um, but my mate Len ripped it in really fast because the sharks here have been mental. Check out this clip of Fred. No, actually, uh, who was with us? Hunter. Hunter was on a, on a big yellow fin the other day and got sharked. Check this one out. Uh oh. I can see him there. Oh. Wait, yeah, he's there. there. He's there. Oh, okay, I see. Yep. It's a big yellow. It's a big yellow. Big yellow. Big yellow. Shark. Fuck you. Shark. Ah. Oh. Asshole. 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 Oh, wait, wait, wait. You might get half a fish here. Fuck off. Lucky luck, lucky luck. Fuck it. The fuck's on. Is that the shark or the tuna? The shark's got the tuna. I'm bad on a full drag. There it goes, so. You're kidding me. All right, then literally the day after that, we came back out here 
and my mate Len was onto one and ripped it in real quick so that the sharks wouldn't get it. And when it was at the boat, it was still super green, but I didn't get a real good shot at the gaff with it because um, it was still quite deep and I ended up getting it a bit in the belly. Uh, but when it took off, it, it, uh, it bent, the, I was hanging on hardcore to the gaff, it bent the gaff and, uh, and then took off. Uh, and then we lost that one, so check this one out. Beauty. So what I've done today is yes, we've got gaff one, gaff two, but I've also got a spear gun set up on a breakaway setup. So if it's too big to gaff with the smaller gaffs and I've got to get a custom built gaff done, we're just going to shoot it in the head uh, with the breakaway setup, which I've uh, tied off on the cleat. So Fred is now onto the mono top shot. So there's probably 150 meters to go. We've only got about 50 meters to go now and I'm hoping that when the fish sees the boat he just doesn't go for a screaming run and we lose a lot of line again. Here we go. He obviously saw the boat because we've just lost probably another 50, 60 meters. All right, this thing's taken again. Broke, it's broken Fred's heart. <laughs> you all right, bro? Gaining. Come on. Yeah. Big games. Yeah. yeah, it's going again. But I just got about 150 meters. Yeah, just uh, straight. Yeah. Losing everything we just gained. No. So this is the most line we've had on the reel in an hour. And it ain't done yet. Good work, mate. Far out. Yeah. One hour, 20. And this thing is still pulling line up. We're almost back down to the braid. We've almost lost all the mono. Yeah, tag. Fred is making some massive headway now. We're an hour and 45 minutes into the fire and this is either the biggest yellowfin we've ever caught or we foul hooked a yellowfin. But it's definitely fighting like a yellowfin. So, Fingers crossed, we get this guy to the boat. I think going by the size of this, the game plan is we're gonna shoot it. We're gonna shoot it and then get the gaff in as well and then drag it through the back door. All right, we're way over two hours in. Fred's wrecked, I'm wrecked. Fish is not wrecked yet. He's about 40 meters down. I'm a bit worried because we got this school of bait building underneath us at like, nine, 10 meters, so I'm hoping we just don't attract the sharks. We just got to get this guy in. All right, so after two and a half hours, we've given in and we've gone for the full on clipped in harness. Still a stand up fight, but clipped in because we're wrecked. Like we're running a shit ton of drag on this thing. Fred's killing it over here with the harness. We got him to 25 meters on that last uh, effort. So fingers crossed only another 15 minutes or so we get this guy up, get a look at him. All right, here he comes. You can see him there.
It is a big, big fish. We got him at 12 meters now. And we are two hours and 50 minutes in. All right, you ready, Fred? All right, this is the time that we get him to the boat. We're three hours in. We're at the point of no return on the reel. When Fred and I were swapping, we accidentally hit the uh, drag lever and got a full blown bird's nest. So if we get back to where the bird's nest is, it's game over. This fish is gone and it's a big yellow fin. So we just, we've got like probably 20 meters of line to play with. We've had it as close as 12 meters and we just got to keep, we just got to make sure we keep that, at least some of that 20 on there because if it gets to the bird's nest, it'll just ping instantly. Right. Fred's cramping up. Ooh. So we're switching again. <sighs> Three and a half hours in, Fred's perishing. It is like literally just here. It's about five, six meters from the boat. And we can get it to the surface out there, but it's, it goes deep when it's under us. So the weight of this thing, we just can't, we can't just get that last little bit. We don't want to put any more drag on. It's a real crucial part of the fight right now. And we're bloody exhausted and I'm hoping the fish is as well. Uh, not yet. Yeah, I think he spent, I think he spent. All right, you wanna, you wanna clip in and then I'll get the spear gun ready. All right, you ready? Hey, right. Coming? Don't let the line hit. Rod out, rod out. Alright, get some more line down. One down, one down. Alright, one more circle. Yeah, nah, next one around, next one around. Oh, it's not a very good shot. Just uh, grab the gaff behind. That's it. All right. You ready? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me get this up. Seth? 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 Bro! I'm not fishing the play. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Woo! Woo! <sighs> Holy shit! You wanted blood? You we wanted want blood. We wanted a bloody deck. You want blood? We got a bloody deck. You got blood. Dude. Woo! He's a beauty. All right, gonna give you guys a bit of scale. Guys, I'm laying beside him and I feel so small, you know. Are you gonna kiss it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is made out day, you know. After four, three weeks of trying, we landed this. Oh. Spent the whole morning pulling this. Beauty. In. Lovely. Oh. Well, that was one of the craziest mornings fishing that I've ever had. Like, We've caught some pretty decent fish uh, over the years, um, but that thing kicked our ass like you wouldn't believe. Fred and I were so fatigued um, towards, I guess, three quarters of the way through that fight. Um, you know, it's hot here this time of year. The humidity's through the roof, uh, temperature's up. Uh, as you saw throughout that, the, the breeze just died off to nothing. So we were like roasting and fatigued. And obviously that's when you start to make mistakes as well. We were just lucky, like I said at the beginning, everything sort of went our way, even like when it didn't. Like obviously we made that bird's nest, like changing the rod over, fish fighting, we bumped the drag lever, just <laughs> big bird's nest. For us to only have 20 meters uh, left to fight that fish and um, not to get back to that bird's nest and, and snip us off, obviously, you know, things were falling our way. Um, like I said, even when they weren't. So amazing to get a fish like that into the boat. I'm guessing 60 kgs, like probably. Um, you know, obviously by the time we weigh that thing, it's gonna be bled and gutted and, and everything. But um, yeah, guessing it would have been probably 60 kgs. Um, solid fish, uh, plenty of fish to share around with Fred, Noah, friends, family, and so forth. The thing that I'm excited about is the video where I introduced you guys to Eleanor, our customer relations manager. Uh, we caught that amazing uh, black marlin. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now the video where I'm introducing you guys to Fred, our newest team member. We caught this awesome uh, big yellow fin. So I'm thinking, and let me know in the comments if you're thinking the same. I reckon we should do a video with Fred and Noah and see what we come back with uh, because our track record's pretty bloody good when it comes to team members on our YouTube channel. So as I said at the start of the video, I'm gonna introduce you guys to Fred, let you get to know him a little bit more. Um, so here's the man. Bula, I'm Fred. Uh, born and raised here in Sabu Sabu. Grew up by the sea, so Practically, I've been fishing most of my life, so yeah. Got to join Immersion late last year, December. It's been a blast. Basically, the office is the sea, so that's the love, you know. Don't you agree that fishing is something that we all love? And to live and to work, especially to work and experience it every day, like I've been doing with Immersion. It's taken it to another level and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, you would love it even more if you come and experience this sort of feeling where you get out to see the sea every day and catch fish. Just being out there, you know, whatever, snorkeling or spear fishing or fishing or just cruising on the seas, you know, you love it. And to experience it firsthand, like I'm doing right now, working and living it. I wish you'd join me on trips just to see how this is taking it to another level, you know. For me, that was the biggest fish I've ever caught and it's taken, taken every other big fish that I've caught in my life. It's wiped the slate clean to put this yellow fin on a higher, sort of like a higher level of fish catches that I've caught. So I've caught and managed to learn it with Mike so it's for me it's, it's taken fishing to another level for me you know the rush the, the feeling that you get from landing something that big whoa I feel blessed even I'd say that I feel blessed you've caught something that big so there you have it guys. We are super excited to have Fred part of the Immersion Fiji team and we're excited for you guys to get to meet him and spend some time with him when you're on your own little adventure out here in the hidden paradise. See you on the next one.